a fine and a ticket today. So if you guys want to see more videos like this, please let me know by leaving a like, sharing it with your buddies, and a comment down in the comment section. Because if I'm going to be taking a risk of my insurance going up, getting tickets all the time, getting fines all the time, trying to fucking... <laughs> trying to learn how to drift in public I need to know that you guys are, are gonna like it and the, the camera I do have a camera attachment coming for the outside um, the only thing that I have now and I, I just tried it and it wouldn't work is this thing I could like I could clamp it on my window so you guys can see my back wheel spinning um, so there there will eventually be something on the outside once we get to a couple of corners, just because there's no areas, like, big open areas um, to, like, actually set up a cone and learn how to drift. There are places that, I, that I'm that i going to go to this summer that have that. It's just, it's like an hour away. And I want to learn how to do it now. And it's rainy out. Plus, we learned how to do the pedal dance. I'll show you guys how to do that in another video. Probably the next video you guys see, it'll I'll show you how to do the pedal dance. It just it 100 turns off your uh, traction control, holding down those two buttons for a few seconds. That doesn't turn it all the way off. But anyways, once we get to a corner, since the roads are pretty secluded right now, I'm genuinely hoping, like genuinely, big words, that I don't go off the road. That's really gonna. It's <laughs> gonna suck <laughs> because I haven't done it at all before, man. Like I have an idea of how to do it, but I don't know how to do it exactly. I'm gonna let this guy go by me, um, because this is where we're gonna do our first attempt. And there's, I don't know why there's so much traffic today, dude. You know what I mean, like. I have somewhat of an idea of how to do it. Get it back up so I can get a little more speed. <laughs> Like that's pretty sick. You can't tell me that's not cool. I want him 
I want to wait for him. Do it! Rub it! Oh. <laughs> I was kind of hoping that he would end up pulling off somewhere so that we could get out and say hi and hopefully like he could tell us what about the car you know what I mean like I have no idea what those cars like ha I I know they go fast <laughs> that's about it I don't know anything else man you know what I mean it's pretty that's fucking so cool And my car's too loud. Yeah, my car's too like loud, man. I can't fucking hear it. Bro, my fucking arm is getting tired. If it's wobbling, guys, I apologize. My arm is getting tired holding this thing. That's why I got that GoPro crap over there, that little thing on my dashboard. That is a... Um, Bros, I don't care what any of you say, the worst thing that can happen to you in the morning is realizing that you don't have enough cereal. Worst thing ever, dog. We gotta go up to Walmart. <laughs> I'm gonna lie, boys. I have no idea if they're gonna tell me to shut this off or not. So, we're gonna try it, but they're probably gonna tell me that I can't record in there. So, just an FYI. So, we are gonna get some multi grain Cheerios. And it's like a cereal aisle. So, it's like, what else? You know, it's like so many different kinds. Golden grams, I'm kind of feeling. Corn pops, I'm kind of feeling. What would go good? I got some like Greek yogurt and apples. So I'm trying to think of like what will go good with those. You know what I mean? Reese's Puffs might. Nah. Um, because I legit have no cereal left at all. So where's that cheap shit? Of course the Golden Graham ones are grown. All right, so we got cinnamon toasters, Golden Puffs. Yeah, we ain't rocking cheap shit, bro. <laughs> there's like, it's true, man. There's so many different, I think I'm just gonna rock Golden Grams, honestly. Cheerios and Golden Grams. And now I just gotta get some cottage cheese and we'll be good to go. It's like the best source of protein, like good for you source of protein. And I haven't been told to shut this thing off yet, so. All right, boss, we will be taking a trip to the other grocery store in my town, Hannaford's. Because Market Basket ain't open yet. And I can't wait till that fucking store opens because Walmart never has what I want, you know what I mean? They're all out of the fruit that I want. They're all out of the, the cheap shit that I want because I don't feel like paying for name brand golden brands. You know what I mean? They taste the friggin' same to me, dog. <laughs> But we, and they didn't have the cottage cheese I wanted. They only had the freaking, holy fucking left hand boss right there, boys. They didn't have the cottage cheese I wanted. They didn't have the, I like the Cabot kind, just cause it's trap. Ready, set, where is it? The drop's happening. But anyways, I gotta go to Hannaford, get some fruit and cottage cheese. For real, dude.
All right, boss, looks like we found us somebody else that has a car like me, man. It's pretty dope. I think he's just rocking the stock car, though. I don't think that he has, like, any modifications. His headlights, you can see his headlights are different. It's pretty cool. I don't see him very often up here, man, so that's pretty dope. I know for a matter of fact that I cannot record in there. All righty, bros, we got us some Gala apples. We got us some Fuji apples. And we also got us our cottage cheese. I'm always telling you guys that you need to eat healthy. We got one treat there. Golden grams. Those multi-grain Terrios are good for you. And they freaking taste good too, boys. If I'm going to always be telling you that you need to eat healthy or have something healthy in your meal as like apples and cottage cheese, both good for you. You know what I mean, boys? But... Obviously, I'm not gonna have cottage cheese with apples, even though that might be good. All right, boss, looks like I destroyed the box on this thing, but this is what the trip to the store was for. We got us four apples, some Greek yogurt, and we're gonna put some golden grains on top of it. I am, in fact, in my PJs in the afternoon, or 10 o'clock, because for some stupid ass reason, I don't have any friggin' hot water. And it feels great to get into the shower. I'm definitely awake now though, that's for sure. You know what I mean, boys? Before we end the video, I do want to say that I live in a very small town. So if any of you live in a bigger town with a bunch of other cars, do not try doing what I ended up doing in the video. And I know that I suck at it, but you got to remember that this was my first time even ever trying it. I think the sandy area that you guys could still see snow in the back. I think that was just the sand on why I kept spinning out. But yeah, that's going to bring us to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to leave a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.